What if the dinosaur extinction wasn't caused by an asteroid? 75% of all living things, including dinosaurs, were wiped out by a massive meteorite the size of Mount Everest that struck the globe 66 million years ago. What if I told you, though, that it's plausible that the dinosaur's extinction wasn't brought on by the meteorite after all? What if dinosaurs were vanishing long before the asteroid hit the Earth? Unexpectedly, there is a theory that suggests it is possible that the extinction of the dinosaurs was not caused by a meteorite as we previously believed. Have you prepared? Move along. As we all know, the most widely accepted theory about the extinction of the dinosaurs today is the impact of a massive meteorite. Today, we have enough evidence to suggest that around 66 million years ago, a meteorite at least 10 kilometers across fell on Earth. Some of this evidence is the enormous crater of Chicxulub in the Yucatan Peninsula in Mexico, which is the largest on the entire planet and the date of its creation agrees with the date of the extinct. The excess of iridium in sedimentary rocks that marked the end of the KT period, a time when a sudden mass extinction occurred and levels of iridium in the atmosphere suddenly increased, is another indication that a meteorite of these dimensions collided with the Earth. Iridium is a metal that is primarily found in asteroids. All of evidence shows that a space rock striking the Earth was what ultimately led to the demise of the dinosaurs. Although this is the view that is currently most widely accepted, other theories have also been put up by experts to account for the quick extinction of the dinosaurs. Before the meteorite fell, dinosaurs were already going extinct. Some of these hypotheses are supported by research that monitored the emergence and extinction of species over millions of years and calculated rates of speciation and extinction. The findings indicate that both herbivorous species like Triceratops and Diplodocus as well as carnivorous groups like Tyrannosaurs were already in decline 10 million years prior to the asteroid impact. According to scientists Fabian Condamine and Guillaume Guénat of the Institute of Evolutionary Sciences in Montpellier, France, dinosaur environments started to alter and grow colder around 56 million years ago. Plant-eating species tended to become extinct first, making later ecosystems unstable and vulnerable to collapse if environmental conditions got worse. Also, the absence of herbivores prompted carnivores to start migrating to habitats with more food, hastening the fall of herbivores. The slow extinction of the dinosaurs prior to the meteorite's impact was caused by two main processes. First, as the planet's temperature dropped over time, dinosaurs whose existence depended on warm temperatures had a harder time surviving. Recall that, contrary to popular belief, despite being reptiles, most dinosaurs were endotherms, or warm-blooded, meaning they were adapted to high temperatures, such as those seen in tropical regions. The issue with this is that because herbivores were so big, they required a lot of food to maintain that warmth. It's probable that the Earth was going through a period of climatic change at that time, resulting in a drop in temperatures and a decline in plant life. The high and tropical temperatures that the dinosaurs were used to declining significantly, leaving an average temperature of 7 degrees Celsius in the northern hemisphere and 10 degrees Celsius in the south, may have been the reason of this climate change. The largest and oldest dinosaurs found it challenging to adapt to the new chilly temperature and lack of food. They couldn't adjust to a cold temperature as rapidly because they had evolved in a hot climate with plenty of food for millions of years. This caused the large herbivores to start dying from a lack of food and the low temperatures that their bodies could not withstand. This broke the trophic chain and started a chain of extinctions that included the extinction of several dinosaur species, including the Triceratops. It's possible that all of the Triceratops died before the meteorite fell. The loss of herbivores was the second cause in the collapse of the dinosaurs. This left the ecosystems unstable and vulnerable to a cascading extinction, which prompted the carnivores to compete for the few herbivores still there. Does this imply that climate change, not a meteorite, killed the dinosaurs? 
Not necessarily. The idea asserts that dinosaurs started going extinct long before the meteorite hit, but at the time of the meteorite's impact, many species, primarily birds and mammals, were still starting to adapt to the new cold climes. Smaller animals that no longer faced as much competition found new chances as the huge herbivorous dinosaurs and carnivores slowly went extinct. In this way, mammals gradually started to play a significant role in the diversity of species. It's feasible that a sizable portion of the dinosaurs would have acclimated to the planet's new chilly environment if the meteorite had never fallen. Mammals, however, would have found a niche without the other dinosaur species. Concurrent volcanic eruptions, many of the planet's volcanoes erupted simultaneously millions of years before the meteorite struck, according to one of the most common theories that could explain the demise of the dinosaurs. The hypothesis was developed as a result of research done in northern China by Beijing-based scientist Liming Zhang of the Chinese University of Geosciences. The scientists discovered that the lake's temperature had started to rise hundreds of thousands of years before the impact of the Chicxulub crater, which is thought to have caused the extinction of the dinosaurs. They did this by analyzing ancient sediments at the bottom of a lake basin. The eruptions in India's Deccan steppes happen at the same time as this warming. One of the most significant volcanic landforms on Earth is the Deccan Stairs. They are made up of numerous cemented basaltic flood levels that are about the size of France and span an area of 500,000 square kilometers. This formation began some 68 million years ago in the region of what is now India, where numerous volcanic veins suddenly burst open in the ground and continuously ejected enormous amounts of lava for a million years. Imagine that the same kind of eruptions are occurring simultaneously all over the world. In that scenario, an increase in greenhouse gases like methane, carbon dioxide, and sulfur dioxide could result, which would lead to a climate change that raised temperatures and polluted the oceans, weakening living things and causing the extinction of those who were unable to adapt. The findings show broad variations in the planet's pre-impact temperature, but the researchers also found something more concerning. Zhang and his co-workers discovered that the sudden warming caused many fossils in the prehistoric sediments to vanish. The majority of the extinctions in the area, two-thirds, took place after the start of the volcanism and hundreds of thousands of years before impact. In conclusion, the studies offer compelling evidence that at least 8 million years before the meteorite struck, volcanoes disrupted the Earth's climate through a series of simultaneous eruptions that sharply increased global temperatures, eradicating a significant portion of the species almost immediately. Thousands of years after the eruption started, the sky became darker due to the soot and sulfur smoke. The temperatures of the entire world eventually began to drop. The climate changed from being warm and tropical to cold and dry, the plants started to die, the biggest herbivorous dinosaurs started to disappear because they couldn't adapt, and the aquatic animals died because there were more toxins in the water, which led to a cascading extinction of all living things. The last executor for better or worse, the meteorite that struck the Earth 66 million years ago was merely the icing on the cake of a series of catastrophes that had begun much earlier than its arrival. We now know that the changes in the world significantly weakened the species of that time, proving that the extinction of the dinosaurs began much earlier than we previously believed. In a sense, the meteorite merely completed the long progressed extinction of the dinosaurs. What if the meteorite had not hit the ground in the first place? Do you believe it is possible that dinosaurs might have evolved and survived, or do you believe they would have died out to create room for the mammals that currently govern the planet? Write a thoughtful remark to share your thoughts with us. We appreciate your time and we'll see you in the next video.